Hello there and welcome back to the Achievement Planner. Today I'm going to be talking about Resident Evil 7 Biohazard, one of the best horror games, in my opinion, of course. Um, so yeah, so first person, it's an awesome game. Uh, it's quite graphic at times. Uh, I'm, not, I'm not the biggest fan of that, but um, yeah, it's, it's still a great game. So many different modes. I'll talk about all the DLC modes as well. So, this game has 58 achievements from 1,620 gamer score. Uh, the base game has 37 achievements, and the four different DLCs have 21 achievements. And I give this game a 9 out of 10 difficulty. And here's the funny thing about it. The base game, it's not 9 out of 10 difficulty. It's those darn DLCs that... Yeah, sometimes they're almost 10 out of 10 difficulty. They're so difficult. Uh, but once again, we'll talk about that. Completion time, about 20 to 25 hours. Um, and technically up to 75 hours for full DLC. It depends. That, you, But, you know, the base game especially, it's not that long. Uh, even playing uh, the hardest difficulty. But, yeah, the, some of those DLC could take you a long time. Um, so, playthrough one. Easy playthrough. And, and actually, overall... Um, I have four, well, <laughs> three playthroughs and then all the DLC. So each of those, I guess, would be a different playthrough. But playthrough one, easy playthrough, all story achievements, miscellaneous achievements, all videotapes you're going to collect, all antique coins, easy and normal versions. So there are antique coins, easy and normal difficulty. Then there are antique coins, madhouse difficulty. There are different coins. So you need to make sure you get... Uh, on this first playthrough, all the antique coins are easy and normal difficulty. All the files, all the Mr. Everywhere statues, using so basically all the collectibles, except for the Madhouse coins. Um, using only f three first aid meds or less, and using the item box no more than three times, and getting ending one. So I just got ending one for this one. Uh, you, you can get ending two if you want instead. But there are two endings. <clears throat> all right. Uh, playthrough number two, easy playthrough. The game, complete the game within four hours, which is not hard, terribly hard. Uh, and create all items that contain chem fluid and strong chem fluid. So you just have to do that. Uh, when, when I was doing my first playthrough, I wasn't really combining stuff. Uh, so yeah, so th this one I did all that. Playthrough three is the Madhouse playthrough. And that's the hardest difficulty. And the greatest thing about this game is they change up where things are, what enemies are there, how many enemies. It just changes up the game, almost like making it a new game. Same thing with the coins. So it's not so playing Mad, playing it on Madhouse is, is like a different game in some ways. Uh, so you will also get all the antique coins for the Madhouse difficulty, and you complete the game on normal and Madhouse. So so let's say you play it on easy for the first one. Uh, oh, actually, I did it easy on the first two. So, yeah. So, you'll get the normal difficulty and the Madhouse difficulty. And you can get ending two. The other the other difficult, uh, the other ending, whichever one. All right. Playthrough number four, which is really a whole bunch of playthroughs. Um, all DLC, multiple playthroughs. So, I just considered this a playthrough for... <clears throat> so, basically, three playthroughs for the base game. So, you have band footage number one, band footage number two... And then you, after that, you have End of Zoe and Not a Hero. So you have four different kinds of sections, and we'll talk about them. So category number one, Story Achievements, nine achievements for 220 Gamer Score. And these are all of the achievements you will get playing the story. I also included number eight, End of the Night, Ending 1, and number nine, Just the Memory, Now Ending 2. So you do have to play through this story twice to get both of those. All right. Category number two, Miscellaneous Achievements, 17 achievements for... 370 gamer score so number one aha 10 gamer score obtain something by closely examining an item yeah you get it right away so number two behind closed doors 10 gamer score close an open door by yourself <laughs> just close the door number three master of unlocking 10 gamer score use a lock pick to open something and you'll get lock picks throughout the whole game it's, it's uh, you'll see that's not too hard uh, number four arms in the air 10 gamer score Block an enemy attack by guarding, and you'll be doing this the whole time. I forget which one, which button it is, to be honest. I think it, like, left bumper, maybe? But you'll, you'll see this in the tutorial. Uh, number five, can't catch me. 20 gamer score. Complete the Mia videotape without being spotted by Marguerite. So there are a whole bunch of different videotapes in this, and that's actually one of the, uh, one of the achievements, getting all the, the videotapes. But doing this one, you just need to kind of hide and not get caught. 
So uh, you can look up, you know, you can see on the guide I show you. Um, number six, things get per got personal. 20 gamer score. Finish off an enemy with the knife. That's uh, pre it's pretty, it's pretty um, obvious. Number seven, slash, 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 shitty, slash, 20 gamer score. One of the most horrifying achievements I've ever had to do in my entire life. Clear insects off a door using a knife. This is horrible. Um, little spiders are on these doors and you have to clear them all off with the knife and yeah, they jump on you and yeah, horrifying. But you just have to clear them all off. Number eight, nice try. 10 gamer score, put an unrelated object on a shadow plinth. So you have these like objects and you need to put them on the, the plinth, I guess is what it's called. I called it a pedestal. And you need to move it so that it matches the shadow and then doors will open. But if you put the wrong item on the wrong one, you get that achievement. Number nine, in the bag. 10 gamer score, increase your item slots. That's where uh, you find something to increase it. Usually a backpack, so. <clears throat> um, number 10, open your eyes, 10 gamer score, use psycho stimulants, uh, and you just have to use the psycho stimulants that you pick up. And those psycho stimulants will actually help you to see things around. It'll give little markers to show you. And later when you get the um, x-ray glasses, that'll do that the whole game. But these kind of let you see things. <clears throat> so number 11, out before dessert, 40 gamer score, complete the happy birthday videotape within five minutes. I did this one over and over. I just could not get it under five minutes, but eventually I did. Um, and uh, once you do this section, you'll be able to just restart the, the checkpoint and try it again and again. Um, that's a spicy meatball. No, yeah, meatball. It actually says meatball. Um, 20 gamers score. Killed an enemy by attaching a remote bomb to them and detonating it. And, uh, yeah, towards the end of the game, you find these remote bombs, you put it on it, you detonate it. There you go. All right, 13. Less is more. 40 gamer score. Take down two or more enemies with one shot. <clears throat> this was not as hard as it sounds. I think I did it with a magnum. Uh, 14. Back off, Mrs. B. And for this one, um, I had to... There's a point where there's where Marguerite is going to do something to you by one of the doors. And I'm not going to tell you what it is because it's a spoiler. And after that, you kind of run around to the other side where she would be going. I know this is kind of vague. I'm trying not to ruin anything. And you have to make your way to the other part of the old house. And basically you need to just keep shooting her with the shotgun and eventually she'll, I think she'll pick you up and throw you. But it's kind of like around that point. I think if you shoot her enough, this might also work just in general in the old house. But that's when I did it. So I know it's a little vague, but, uh, you know, it's, 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 it's a weird one. Uh, by the way, that, that line that's there on the, on the slide with the words is, uh, is all these 13 and on I got after I had to go re-back, re-back. I had to go back and reload stuff to get all these because I missed them my first playthrough. Next one, 15 is Fly Swatter, 40 gamer score. And I got this shoot, this is, by the way, this is shoot and knock back Marguerite while she's leaping at you. I got this during her boss fight. This is not easy to do. So she goes up on the ceiling like, like a creepy spider and jumps at you. You just got to shoot her back with the shotgun, basically. Uh, just keep trying. Keep reloading. Uh, or, you know, if you die, yeah, you can get it eventually. Number 16, duck if you love life. <laughs> 40 gamer score. Avoid Jack's scissor attack by crouching. This is during his boss fight. He's got these huge scissors. And if you duck... Uh, I, I forget if when, it, when you crouch, you can avoid his scissors altogether when he comes at you or just sometimes. But either way, you'll you'll crouch and you'll see. I played this game a long time ago, so I'm trying to remember some of these things. Uh, 17, first place at the science fair, 20 gamer score. Create all the items that contain chem fluid and strong chem fluid. And you could find guides on which ones there are for that. So those are basically the achievements, uh, the miscellaneous achievements. A uh, whole bunch of random stuff. Um... Category number three, collectible. Six achievements for 200 gamer score. Number one, he's here, there, and everywhere. 20 gamer score. Destroy a Mr. Everywhere statuette. And, uh, yeah, those are all over the place. And number two, be kind. Please rewind. 20 gamer score. Watch all the videotapes in a single playthrough. And I think there were, like, four or five of them. So you'll see it in the guides I have. <clears throat> uh, number three, pelicans in your pocket. 40 gamer score. Obtain all the ancient... Antique, ancient, antique coins and easier normal difficulty. 
uh, and uh, they'll have a guy for that. Number four, the devil is in the details. 40 gamer score. Read all the files in a single playthrough. And then number five, Mr. Nowhere. 40 gamer score to show you all the Mr. Everywhere statuettes. So all of those, um, every single one of those collectibles can be done on the first playthrough on easy. Number six, though, Mad Pelicans, 40 gamer score. Obtain all the ancient antique coins in the Madhouse difficulty. So in some ways, this is almost like a challenging one. Because if you can't beat it on Madhouse, you can't get all the antique coins on Madhouse. Because you're not getting to the place where you need to pick them up. So it is really hard to do Mad Pelicans if you can't do Madhouse. But Madhouse wasn't horrible. Um, so speaking of Madhouse, Category 4, Challenging Achievements, 5 Achievements for 210 Gamer Score. Number 1, Walk It Off, 50 Gamer Score. Complete the game using only 3 First Aid Meds or less. Now, if I remember correctly, first aid meds includes herbs, includes mixing. You might as well just not mix anything. Just don't don't heal if you don't have to. Um, if you're using checkpoint, I mean, if there are checkpoints, you could just maybe, you know, if you don't have a lot of health, go back to an earlier checkpoint. Make sure you save a lot. Um, so, yeah, so, but you can use steroids. Unless they change that, you, there are these things, steroids, that you use to increase your health. And there are, I think, four of them in the game. Three or four. I think there are four. And when you use those, apparently those do not void this achievement. So try not to heal. And you can use steroids as long as that's still going on. But I think it is. All right, number two, resource manager, 50 gamer score. Pl complete the game without opening the item box more than three times. I suggest never opening this box because there are two times in the game later on with the brother Lucas where you have to open the box two times. Um, and then there's a time later on that I think is a good time to do it, or you have to, I forget. Just don't open this box, all right? It's honestly not that hard to do it. Um, number three, I, it might be hard for some people, and I apologize. Uh, number three, just get me out of here. All right, 50 gamer score. Complete the game within four hours. As long as you know what you're doing, get that done on easy, and you're good. Number four, who's your daddy now? 40 gamer score, complete the game on Madhouse. And 5, the nightmare is finally over. 20 gamer score, complete the game on Normal. And I'll put up a guide for that, and that's by Optinoob. So, yeah, really, really good guide to help you get through that. So, category number 5, Banned Footage, Volume 1. 5 achievements, 170 gamer score. These are the bane of my, one of, one of the banes of my game existence, these DLCs. So, on Banned Footage 1 is, is Nightmare. All right, Nightmare is basically like Five Nights at Freddy's, but in the basement of the house with monsters. Uh, you have to survive a whole bunch of nights. So, number one, Dead by Dawn, 20 gamer score, complete Nightmare. So that's completing this thing. And as you play through it and die, you end up getting rewards each time you play through it and each time you play through it. So you, you continuously get like more things as you go. And uh, by the way, if you get the circular saw, that is the key right there. And I will actually have up a, a nightmare uh, with just circular saw. Um, I don't I know. I, I heal and I use circular saw only. I, th I think that's what it's going to be. So yeah, I'll put that up at some point. But um, yeah, it, it's, it's, it's hard at first. You need to keep playing and get used to it. And then number two, Sleepless in Dulvey, 40 gamer score, complete the Night Terror. That is like the Madhouse difficulty version of, of, uh, of this Nightmare mode. And it is really hard, and I can't believe I beat it, to be honest. I was like freaked out, uh, freaking out like I beat it. Um, so it's really hard, but you just got to survive the waves and survive the waves and survive the waves. It's really frustrating. But with a good guide, well, that one is not really the guide. That one's kind of just get, keep playing it. All right, but I will put up stuff for that. Um, Ethan must die. Oh, dear. So Ethan must die. 50 gamer score. Complete Ethan must die. This is one of the hardest things. This is one of those modes that people say, you'll never complete this mode ever. It's actually on one of those game uh, compilation videos. Um, I'm putting up a guide. Uh, I think it was the Dormouse 031, and it is fantastic. And let me tell you, it only took me a couple times with this guide to know exactly how to do it and where to go and everything. If you could just get it right there, that way, you can get through this. You can do it, all right? You can do Ethan Must Die, all right? You can. So anyway, um, bedroom. Oh, and by the way, Ethan Must Die, what happens is you are, it's almost one shot kills if they hit you. You die, almost die immediately, and you restart right from the beginning. 
Uh, it's not long. Um, I think between like 10, 10, 10-ish minutes if you're rushing, 12 minutes if you're, you know. But if you die, you start back at the beginning. And if you die, you start back at the beginning. But if you die, you leave one item you picked up. And that item is random. So it might be the shotgun or it might be uh, health. Yeah, really frustrating. But worth it. Definitely worth it to play it. And also, watch out because some of the boxes have bombs <laughs> in them, not items. All right, bedroom. Number one, like Mama used to make, 20 gamer score, complete it. And number two, rat catcher, 40 gamer score, find all the dead rats in a bedroom in a single play. I think there were three dead rats, um, and the guide will show you where it is, where, where they are. Uh, and they're dead. But um, beating this was not hard. Just It's, it's more of the puzzle part of this um which i wasn't good at to be honest because i'm not good at puzzles if you've watched my other videos you know um but yeah it wasn't hard that was easy kind of do so the next category is band footage volume two and eight achievements for 220 gamer score so the first one is 21 and oh dear 21 is this was the last achievement i got huh. so anyway number one eye in the sky complete it Card Shark is survival mode version. And then you got to know when to hold them. This is the last achievement I got. And it was survival plus mode. And what happens is it's like a 21 card game thing where you have to equal, I guess, blackjack. I don't play cards at all. I know that sounds ridiculous. But um, uh, you have to get up to 21. And whoever has a higher number doesn't get tortured. And this is very disturbing. Uh, so much that I almost couldn't do it because I'm not good with stuff like this. I don't like seeing people tortured, but I got through it somehow. Uh, so complete 21 wasn't, to be honest, too hard. Uh, survival was pretty hard. And then 21 was beat 10, I think 10 enemies without dying. It was, it was really hard. Um, and the thing about it is it's not just 21. You can add numbers. You can make it up to 27. You could sabotage people. There are all these trump cards that you use. And... It's a really fun game, minus the whole torturing part. Um, so I kind of got obsessed with it and just kept doing it, kept doing it. And I'll put up some really good guides you can watch. The problem with these guys is they're awesome, but they're, it's all randomness. When you have these random things, it's hard to really use a guide. But the guides will really help you kind of like focus in on what to look for. And you will get used to playing this game, uh, this card game. You will get used to it, unless you're just... Don't pick up on things like this, but I really think that you will get used to it and you'll start to be able to see how to read the cards, all right, and the characters. Uh, but good luck with 21. Oh, dear. So Jack's 55th birthday is, is a fun arcade thing where you have to find food around the house and in these different arcade versions, and you have to feed them to Jack. You can combine them. You can give them to him by himself, but if you give him the wrong thing, you might lose. You might make him angry. So, number one, best birthday ever. This is where you get an S rank or higher on all the stages. And that is a timed thing. And that's why it's so difficult. Because you need to do it in a certain amount of time. But, Dormouse 3 has great guides for that. Uh, number two, Miracle Chef. Feed Jack every type of food, drink in, in the, this thing. And that's not hard. You just need to know what they all are. Because you have some combinations of foods also. Alright, number three, don't keep the man waiting. Clear a stage with a 10 minute time bonus and higher in, in this. And I forget exactly how I did this, to be honest, but um, the, once again, the guides will show you. Uh, it, it's a fun thing. It's just stressful to get these uh, these achievements because of the time time sensitive levels. You need to go here at this exact point and get this food, and you have to get this exact point. And there are enemies. You have to kill the enemies while you're collecting the food, by the way. All right. And last one, daughters. Number one, butterfly effect, 20 gamer score. Get the bad ending in daughters. And number two, one instinct. Survival 40, get the true ending. And this was a really easy thing. Uh, you just have to kind of know what to do. I'm not going to ruin the endings. You could figure out what they are. You could look at the guides. Um, but yeah, it wasn't it wasn't super hard. <clears throat> so the next category is End of Zoe. Oh dear, category 7. <laughs> I know I say oh dear about all of these because they were so hard. Uh, six achievements, 170 gamer score. Um, and the thing that was hard was... was the last one so number one queensberry rules oh so by the way you are a dude and i'm not going to tell you who it is and i won't tell you who zoe is because i don't want to ruin anything well actually his name is joe you can know that but he has his fists and he basically is like chuck norris and he fights and punches 
the monsters, and it's really awesome. And uh, so yeah, so Queensberry rules, 20 gamer score. Perform a four hit combo with your bare fist and end of Zoe. Not not super hard. It'll show you how to do that. Um, two Swamp Warfare, 20 gamer score. Stealth kill five enemies and end of Zoe. Uh, you just have to kind of cr uh, crouch, go up behind them, and stealth kill them. It's really awesome. It's not hard either. Um, three. The only guns you need, four gamer score, complete end of Zoe on normal or Joe must die using no weapons. So I actually think I, oh yeah, no, I definitely did it on normal. I did not do it on Joe must die. So basically you just need to use your fists. Uh, you can't use bombs, spears, any of that stuff, but you can use the special gauntlets you see. Um, and, and you'll see if you play it on easy, you actually un can unlock some stuff too. You put these things on your, on your uh, fists, but I'm actually going to be putting up a normal run of just bare fists i do use spears for the for the for the gators and i think i use a bomb or two but i don't use any other weapons and i also do don't use the gauntlets but anyway uh, i'll put that up at some point but yeah so you need to beat this on normal with just your fists or the gauntlets so it's easier said than done but it's not super hard um number four promise kept basically eating it up eating it beating on easier normal and five, fastest man in the swamp, complete an extreme challenge in the end of Zoe. So there, there are these time challenges, and you just need to do. I think I did the first one um, in the beginning of the in the beginning of it. Um, and you unlock these later. I th uh, no, no. You, I think you could do the normal ones right away, and you could do the Joe Must Die ones later on. I'm not 100 percent sure what is unlocked when. Things always unlock after you have beat all these things. But it's not super hard. Not completing all of them would have been, but the first one is not hard. And number six, I think this is the second to last achievement I got in the whole game. King of the Swamp, complete end of Zoe on Joe Must Die. And this was so hard. I can't I I I'm so shocked I still beat it. But I'm putting up a guide by uh, Mr. Rain and it is fantastic and it will get you there you just have to do it and you can unlock this thing called um, the spirit blade and the spirit blade if you hit an enemy you actually gain health back so I was trying to do it without that and, uh, it, and you really you should use that if you can beat it I for actually forgot how to beat it exactly uh, but I mean, I forgot how to get the spirit blade. But you, if you can unlock the spirit blade from an earlier playthrough, um, then yeah, I, you know what? It may have been for doing all of the the extreme challenges on normal. It may have been. So which means I that yeah, I'm pretty sure that might be it. So anyway, get that get that spirit blade if you can and beat Joe Must Die. Uh, all right. So yeah, and then the final final category, not a hero. Two achievements for 60 gamer score, and this is Chris. Chris Redfield. I don't think that's a spoiler because pretty much on every box it says that. Um, but you get to play as Chris Redfield. I'm not telling you why or how. But number one mission accomplished. You beat this on easier normal, and then number two, you're the hero now. Beat it on professional difficulty. And I think this was the third to last achievement I got because this was so difficult as well. Um, and the final boss, holy moly. Uh, but so yeah, it, it is not easy. So there are a lot, I, I don't mean to discourage because it's possible. It's definitely possible. There are harder things to play than this. But of all the Resident Evil stuff, this was one of the hard, these DLCs were one of the hardest things I've had to do. The only thing that's harder than this may have been uh, uh, surviving in, in the police office, uh, in the police, but surviving in the diner in the DLC in uh, Resident Evil 2, or maybe like Knife Only, and the, the challenges in Code Veronica X. But this was super hard, but don't be discouraged, you can do it. All right, so hopefully you'll have fun playing all of this, and I'll put up a, I think I have four different things. I have a pacifist uh, run of the game. I have a, a whole bunch of things I'm gonna be putting up at some point. So I hope you enjoy it, and I'll see you later on the Achievement Planner.